Hello students, welcome to the class of maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see multiple choice questions on Laplace transform. Here we are going to see the two examples 25 and 26. Example number 25 is what? Laplace transform of e to the power minus a t minus e to the power minus b t upon t and the four options are given to you. So here to get the Laplace transformation for this function, we have to apply the division by t property. How we apply here? Let us see. Laplace transformation of f of t upon t, it is given by the formula. It is integration from s to infinity with a function of s that is a Laplace transformation of f of t into it is ds. Now if you compare here this two quantity, I write down here e to the power minus a t minus e to the power minus b t upon it is t which will be equals to integration from s to infinity. Now just take the Laplace transformation of the numerator and that will be given by 1 upon s plus a minus 1 upon it is s plus b into it is we are having ds because in the formula we are taking the Laplace transformation of the f of t which is adding here and then we are doing the integration. Now tell me the integration of 1 upon s plus a it is log of s plus a minus integration of 1 upon s plus b is what log of s plus b and we have to put the limit here then s to infinity and now use the logarithmic property this will be the log of s plus a upon it is s plus b then limits from it is what s to infinity now put the infinity here we cannot put the infinity directly because it will become infinity upon infinity so what we do here i take the s common from here s common from here s will get cancelled this will be then 1 plus a by s 1 plus b by s and if i put the infinity a by infinity and b by infinity is what 0 1 is left here and log 1 is what 0 so if you put the infinity here you get the log 1 which is 0 and now put s in place of s you will get the same function that is log of s plus a upon it is s plus b now this is 0 minus 1 i take into the power so this will become reciprocal it will be the log of s plus b upon it is s plus a i used here the logarithmic property so which one is the correct option please tell me yes it is option c is correct option example number 26 it is l inverse of s upon s square minus a square of whole square it is given by it is the standard formula if you know you can find out the inverse of this fraction by using the partial fraction method or maybe by the convolution theorem and option d is correct here that is t upon 2a sin a t if in place of s if you are having the one then which one will be correct here this formula that is l inverse of 1 upon s square minus a square of whole square will be given by 1 by 2a cube sin a t minus a t cos a t and inverse laplace transformation for the cos h a t is given by l inverse of s upon s square minus a square these are the basic formula you should remember and similarly inverse for this quantity will be given by l inverse of 1 upon s square minus it is a square for the given problem option d is correct which is the required inverse laplace transform so thank you so much for watching this video and if you get something from it please like and share the video with your friend and please do subscribe the channel mathematics ganesh sangraha